50 years ago this month, Johnny Cash walked into Folsom Prison to perform for the inmates. Stuck in Folsom Prison, and time keeps dragging on. It was no accident that the first song he sang made both the prison and Cash himself famous. In anticipation of the anniversary of that historic performance, Folsom Prison offered up a tour of the room where Cash played. New tonight, Alan Martin was there for a look back on that historic day and tells us how California's second oldest prison views its place in history. January 13th, 1968. They wore blue, he wore black. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. And then unleashed his fictional first hand account of a man behind bars. I'm stuck in Folsom Prison, and time keeps dragging on. Which forever infused Johnny Cash into Folsom Prison lore. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. That live recording of Folsom Prison Blues shot to number one on the country music charts and relaunched Johnny's career. This is the east gate of the prison where Johnny Cash stood for that famous photo. It's used every day, no longer for vehicle traffic, but the staff uses it to go in and out. Next to the east gate, the prison museum and its volunteer staff of retired guards keeps Johnny's history alive. That's usually the first thing. They want to know, where can we get our picture taken where Johnny stood? I go, really? Really. But most visitors who come to stand where Johnny stood never experienced the history of the state's second oldest prison. The younger sibling of San Quentin can't shed its solid granite walls made from stone quarried on site in the late 1800s. And it can't entirely strip itself of a notoriously violent past with roots in the California gold rush. But it's trying. No longer are executions held in the hanging room where from 1895 to 1937, 93 prisoners were put to death. The death row cells are now used for storage. And once a notoriously violent maximum security facility, the nearly 2,500 men now held here are medium to minimum security inmates. Many are learning jobs, like electrician. What kind of skill can I do when I get out, being a convicted felon, and that they're not going to say, you know what, because a lot of, right when I get out, people are going to be, you know, you can't get this because of, you know, uh, what I'm in here for. An auto mechanic. It's going to be my job one day. And hopefully, uh, as we transition back into society, that we can work on your guys' cars or you guys will hire us at being convicts or, or whatnot, but it'll be great. Until then, they're stuck in Folsom Prison and time is dragging on. While they can't escape the razor wire and the guards, they can fight the monotony. With what else? This is the dining hall where Johnny Cash played his concert 50 years ago. For our benefit, they brought in a few bands to play some of the music they get to play here today. It's therapeutic. It's the one actual escape from uh, to a sane place. As for playing Johnny Cash's music while being stuck in Folsom, like the things they did to get into Folsom, many inmates say probably best left in the past. It's an iconic song for us inmates and for the public, the general public. You guys don't go around singing that, do you? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. You got your blues of your own? Yeah, we got, enough, we got enough trials and tribulations. We don't have to bring his up. Now Johnny Cash first recorded Folsom Prison Blues in 1955. He wrote it while in the Air Force after seeing the movie Inside the Walls of Folsom Prison. But it wasn't until his live recording at Folsom on January 13, 1968, that the song became a number one hit. Mm -hmm. What a song it is. Mm -hmm. To learn more about Johnny Cash,